What do Lutherans think about justification by faith? Here to help me is Angie. Angie is about 11 weeks old now, and she's a mutt. She doesn't have a pedigree. And when we visited the Humane Society, you know, it was love at first sight. She started loving me, and I didn't have any justification for that. <laughs> I was a perfect stranger, and I started getting kissed. She seems to be a little shy today. Maybe she knows she's on TV. I don't know. Well, if you're in a crowded room and you holler out, Justification by faith! I tell you, all the Lutherans will turn and look because it's the favorite thing. <laughs> it's the heart and center what makes a Lutheran a Lutheran. I'm going to put Angie down on the floor now. That word justification, that's a lot of syllables, right? But we use it frequently if you're going to make an argument somebody will say give me your justification that's the reasons you have for believing what you do or if you want the margins to line up on your paper it's called justifying the margins um, one of my favorite uses of the word um, is uh, this wine here <laughs> it's called Justification, a little free advertising for Justin Winery here in uh, California. Note the word justice in the middle of that word, justice. If we go back to both the Bible and to ancient Greece, justice was thought to be eternal. In fact, I'll bet that you and I assume justice is eternal. God is the author of justice. And whenever you and I behave justly or are treated justly by somebody else or by our society, we believe that God's will is being done. Uh, even atheists and agnostics sort of assume that justice is eternal and always valid. And for that reason, we feel good when justice is done. Well, one of the curious things about the gospel in the New Testament is that one of the implications of the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ is justification by faith. The easiest way for you and I to justify ourselves, of course, is to live a just life, to treat other people with justice. Uh, the word righteousness is frequently used as a substitute for justice there. And then something really unusual happens. And that is St. Paul says that you're in my justice, you're in my justification is a gift from God. It's not the product of living a, a, a just life. Rather, it's the product of Jesus Christ having lived a just life, and you and I borrow his justness, his righteousness, his goodness, his loving kindness. We borrow it, and faith is the word we use to describe this borrowing. So Lutherans like to read St. Paul, that's the book of Romans or the book of Galatians and the New Testament, which St. Paul says that you and I are justified by God's grace, present in faith, and that before God it is the righteousness of Jesus, the justice of Jesus that is given to you and me. Oh yes, it would be wonderful if you and I could pursue justice in society, if we could 
make things just that are unjust, if we could live our lives every day and be fair and just and uh, actually work towards the redemption of a social order when it falls into injustice, God would be happy with that. That's true, but before God, it's not whether we succeed or fail in our efforts to pursue justice, but rather you and my justice is a gift. And we know that gift is present when we believe. So justification by faith means that you're in my justice and our relationship to the eternal justice of God comes to us as a gift in Christ. Whether or not we're able to produce that justice on an everyday basis. Uh, the Gospel of Jesus, I keep saying, is the story of Jesus told with its significance. And one aspect of that significance is justification by faith. Well, that's Ted's timely take on justification by faith.